All right, today's video is inspired by cold drops, but that's not the only website that uses that effect. And I've seen it quite a lot lately. And it's an image parallax effect. So when you scroll on the page, the image looks like there it has kind of like a parallax effect. Okay, this is Andrea from the future. Definitely, you need to use smooth scrolling like Lenny's, for example, in order for this effect to actually work. It does not work without it. So keep that in mind. Now back to Andrea from the past. I try to do it as simple as possible and I think I've kind of nailed it down. So let's get into it. All right. So what we are going to be doing now is we are going to be adding a container. So this container will be full width a hundred percent width and we are going to give it a height of let's say around 80 vh and you will see why all right so let's add also a image widget all right let's go with this image so we have this image selected and let's go to advanced go to custom width and we are going to give this image a custom width and let's say around 80. Let's make sure that everything is set in the middle. But this is up to you and depending on your structure of this section, I let you decide what you are going to do with it. All right, so let's go to our content, actually to our style and make sure that the width of the image is 100%, that the height is also 100%, definitely 100%. So. The image has to be taller, has to have a height higher than the actual section that it is in. So our section has a height of 80 VH and our image has a height of 100 VH. You can go even lower with the height of the section. Let's go to 65 and the parallax effect will be a little bit more intense, let's say. If you want keep it like this or actually I'm going to go all the way to 80 because I want it a little bit more subtle. All right, I'm going to go again to the image and actually and actually set the width of the image to be 60, hmm, let's say 55. Again, this doesn't matter. It's just what I prefer in this case. All right, let's set this to cover and of course leave it at center center and that's about it. Let's publish and obviously nothing will happen right now because we need to add our code and also we need to add classes on the section and on the image. All right, so for our section, we are going to say section scroll. So make sure that you add this class in the section that you have the image in. And we're going to go to the image now. Let's go to advanced and you will add this class here. Obviously you can name these classes whatever you want, but make sure that you add these classes in the code as well. All right, I will publish this and make sure that you add an HTML tag to your page. This should be done I mean, it doesn't matter which in what order you do it, but make sure that you add an HTML tag to your page and we are going to be adding our GSAP code in here. So excuse me, let me delete this. That was something that I was trying to do. All right. So as you can see, we have the two classes that we have in the section and in on the image. We have them here. So you will have to add them in this order to so have the first class at the section class and the uh, second class in the code should be the class for the image and that's about it you don't have to do anything else in here we don't need any css at this point the only thing that we want to do is basically go to the image and make sure that you set the position from default you set it to absolute so I turned absolute on and also make sure that the offset horizontal and vertical is set to pixels. Okay, let's publish and let's see how this works. And it's working pretty great. And I have other images on and 
as you can see they work pretty pretty great so i think this will elevate any design if the design is supposed to be minimalistic you can add this to add a little bit more interest make it a little bit more fluid i would like to say obviously as you can see my page is very smooth because i have activated uh, smooth scrolling with lenny's yeah so you need to have lenny's activated in order for this to work so it's kind of a trade-off but then again if you want to make a website interesting there are things that you have to add to it to make it interesting so if you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.